Hey everybody, Johnny here. In this video, we're going to look at creating a geometry node setup that will allow us to create automatically opening doors based on the proximity to another object. So let's jump right into it. I've got a basic floor plan here with several doors, and then I've got a path object with a camera object parented to it. Right now, if I play the animation, the camera GIFs moves along its path and the doors don't do anything. So let's change that. We want the doors to open as the camera approaches and then close as it moves away. So we'll add a geometry node tree to this door. We want the whole door to rotate, so we're going to use a transform geometry node. That's under geometry, operations, transform geometry. The door is set up to rotate on its z-axis. So we're gonna use a combine XYZ node to drive just this Z value. Now the thing we want to drive it with is the distance between the camera and the door. So we'll add an object info node and duplicate it so we have one for the door and one for the camera. We'll put them both in relative mode and first we'll use this eyedropper to select our camera. Now, you might be tempted to do the same thing between this and the door. However, there is a node that allows us to get the current object that the node tree is assigned to. That's called self object. So now we can find the distance between these two. If we take the location of the camera, type in distance, and then find the distance to the self object. We'll now tie this value to our Z rotation. Let's see what this looks like. Well, that's a start. It's not what we need yet. We only want the door to start moving when the camera gets within a certain distance. And anything above that, we don't want it to move. So we want to clamp this value to a preset amount. To do that, we'll use the clamp node. Now we can say, the closest it can get to the door is zero, but then if it gets beyond a certain amount of distance away, the distance value won't get any larger. So let's set this at two for right now. Let's rewind our animation and see how this looks. So that does what we want it to do. However, this value of zero to two isn't the proper amount for the rotation of the door. So next, we need to map this value to a proper rotation value. We'll use a map range node to do that. So since this value goes from 0 to 2, we'll set this from 0 to 2. Then we can put in the rotation that we want it to be at those different values. Right now, my camera is away, so it's at what would be considered its maximum distance. So let's set the rotation that it will be at when it's at the maximum distance value. Now we'll move our camera closer and we'll set our value for the rotation when it's at its closest. There, that looks pretty good. Now, one thing we can do is we might want the door to start opening when we get two meters away, but be all the way open when it gets to say one meter away. If we set this to one in both cases, the door goes a little crazy. But that's because my minimum value here was set to too many rotations. There, that's better. But here you see the door is all the way open before the camera gets there. So this is working here nicely. Let's tidy up our node tree so that we can apply this to the other doors. First, we're going to want to be able to select other objects other than the camera to make this node more useful. So I'm going to get rid of this and then tie this to the input, and we'll call this target. I'm gonna duplicate the input and bring it down here. Now we wanna set the distance from when the doors should start opening. So that here was our max value. So we'll tie this to our max value, and we'll call this start distance. And then we'll tie this minimum to the next input, and call this end distance. Now we want to be able to set our rotations 
but these rotations are in radians, and we want them to be in degrees. In Blender 3.5.1 and before, once you create one of these sockets, you can't change its type. So you can't change it to be a distance measurement or a degree measurement if it's just a number. So we need to have another node that has a degree input socket. We'll use a utility, rotation, rotate Euler node and put it on axis angle. Then we can connect up a couple of sockets to this angle and then delete this node. Now we have two angle inputs. In Blender 3.6 and beyond, there's a new option in this area that allows you to change the subtype of a float input. So no matter what you create it with, you can change it to a rotation later. Here, we'll change this to start angle and end angle. The start angle is connected to the max and the end angle is connected to the minimum. We'll go ahead and reset these. And there we go. Let's go ahead and name this node and mark it as an asset. We can drag this in onto our other doors. So there we go. This whole idea is pretty simple, but I hope it gives you an idea that you can use geometry nodes to help out in your animations as well as your modeling and all sorts of other things. If you're interested in the source file that I've been using here, it'll be available on my Patreon page. And speaking of my Patreon page, I want to give a shout out to all of my supporters. I'm super grateful for all the support you've been giving me. Anyhow, I hope you found this video helpful and I hope it inspires you to make something awesome. And as always, until next time, I'll catch you later.